Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is Brits try best fried chicken in America. Ooh, the best. That's a bold thing. Willie Mays. I think we've heard about them. Willie, oh, we have heard about them. Is that in like the 50 best states? Joe, was I think 50 it best is. states. Like, Willie Mays is a place to go. Yeah. Like that. that was a long, great, great, um, great yeah. memory. We definitely heard of Willie I Mays. I remember everything. Whereabouts is it? Uh, they've done Louisiana, Louisiana recently, haven't they? Louisiana. Oh, it might be in Louisiana. California, maybe. Uh, it might be. But I, I feel know. like people in the comments are going to be fuming if they've claimed the best fried chickens in California. No, it's Louisiana. I think it's Louisiana because it's southern as well, southern fried chicken. I just feel like they've been to California recently. And been but also, I think that was a while ago. Okay. I think it was a while ago. Smash that button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. I think we're going to tell us where we go anyway. Willie Mays, what you got? Let's go. Don't know. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we are going to try the best fried chicken in America. <laughs> like, the America. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a big place. It's a big place. There's a lot of fried chicken. Willie Mays, established in New Orleans, 1957. No. I've been Have they been there? No, they haven't. No. We watched oh, the, oh, guy. the guy. And right he there. went in to be like the yeah, original one, wasn't it? The original it? one. And he showed all the family's thing. That's mm -hmm. probably the Willie Mays. And the guy did the big cookout. As well. Yeah, yeah, the he went to the cookout. Yeah, yeah. Awarded yeah. multiple yeah. times as the best fried chicken in all of America. This is a different one. Though. It's a big claim. Place. Let's go see what it's about. So I'm thinking it. it could be in. Love fried California, chicken. Cannot wait. The thing is, there's a lot of fried chicken around the world, right? It's not a niche thing. It's a saturated it's not market. Like fried pigeon, you know? If you set up a restaurant and said we're going to have the best fried pigeon in the world, uh, yeah. I'd probably believe you. But <laughs> not a big fried part. chicken, it's the main thing they do, fry. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't fly. They don't fly, so... but they do fry. <laughs> oh, that is a big tray of food. Oh, my oh, God. God. Wow, that looks it really good. It look like, let us know in the comments below. If, like, because obviously, I forget the other guy's name. We do have a reaction on it. I do apologise. Um, I'll link that reaction in the top of this uh, video as well. Because that was the original, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Is that better than these kind of chainy versions? Because this seems like a bit of a chainy version, doesn't it? Yes, I don't think it's in New Orleans either. Because if it is, they would have just gone to that one. Maybe. Yeah, but they've gone, I assume they'd have gone to that one. Um, but let us know in the comments, is this as good if it's a chain? I suppose it's the same mm. recipe, isn't it? But let us know. Yeah. It looks very different from yeah. fried chicken I've had before. It almost looks like yeah. fish and chips. Look at the size of that bread. That's a busty Look chicken. Okay. Cheers, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Mmm. So crunchy. That does sound crunchy. It looks good. Holy moly. That is so well seasoned. I think that's the crispiest chicken I've ever bitten into. Mm. It looks it. The batter's just perfect. And yeah, the meat inside, like that's white meat. It's so juicy still. So juicy. Look how juicy mm. that mm. meat is. Mm -hmm. That chicken was well hydrated. <laughs> I think genuinely that's the juiciest chicken I've ever had. It's so juicy. One thing I should say, though, you've got to embrace the grease. Yeah. I could probably change the oil in a car. <laughs> <laughs> With just, just by wringing your yeah, fingers into it. Yeah. Uh, should we try some of the sides? Yeah. OK, first off, we both have a little bit of cornbread, which I love. Oh. This is such a subtle oh. thing. This is interesting, because we keep I'm saying missed. we're going to do cornbread video today. Cornbread, we haven't done it yet. Let's go, do you want to see us make cornbread? Yeah. Let's go and come through. This is the cornbread. This is cornbread. I thought this was a muffin. It looks like a little muffin. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, that's good. so good. That's yeah. so good. I'm not a huge fan of cornbread. It tastes like a muffin that you missed an ingredient. <laughs> you know? A slightly savoury muffin. Slightly. I mean, that's very savoury. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at this mash of gravy. This is like a southern Ooh. fried chicken classic. Get stuck in. You love if that. You're creating content. This is like a southern fried chicken classic. Get stuck in. I actually want some mash and gravy now. Mm. Mm. That gravy, mm. whoa, is strong. Yeah, there's a lot of flavour in there. That's yes. like, as a Brit, oh, no. not used to that many spices yeah, in my gravy. Oh, gravy. Wow, <laughs> that packs a punch. Look at that gumbo. There's literally like seafood tails. Mm. Interesting. Oh wow, oh, that's beautiful. Well, that's really seafoody. I really like that's that. Strong, strong. very yeah. salty. Makes me want a bit more chicken. You got a leg. I've got this giant thigh. I Thunder thigh. Is it? <laughs> oh, it's, it's a thunder thigh. This is like a track cyclist thigh. It's amazing. Track cyclist. And kind of disgusting. Kind of if like, you look at them whoa, too long, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? It doesn't look human. No. All right. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Mmm. 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 Mm. I think 
as I bit into that, a bit of chicken juice like squirted out <laughs> and it hit the table. It's like biting into a flipping orange. Mm. Holy crap. Oh my god. It's good. It's so good. I'm it's actually starving now. Honest that leg off. Mm. In the UK, fried chicken is kind of trashy food. It's well, like the idea of doing it well or even winning an award. That is so yeah, true. For your fried chicken. Like, that is actually so mm -hmm. true. Like, the only time I have fried chicken is KFC. Yeah, and that's like done to minimum standard. Yeah, and that's like, oh, I fancy it, we'll just have KFC. And it, I like it. It's, it's not crispy like that. It's nothing like that. Popeyes was so much better than KFC. Oh, yeah. And we don't have that in Jersey, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And there's not many in the UK. But when we, if we go to the UK and there's a Popeyes nearby, I'm definitely getting that. Like when we go back to England, yeah, oh, I'm having Popeyes. One hundred percent. But yeah, it's three o'clock in the afternoon for us, and we haven't actually eaten anything this morning. So this is a mistake doing this video because now yeah, I'm, getting... I'm starving now. Fried chicken is kind of like it doesn't make sense. Fried chicken is the epitome of cheap fast food in the <laughs> UK. It's dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, they use low quality, maximum quantity. But here, it's like elevated to like a level of prestige that we just wouldn't apply to it in the UK, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like finding out that Dwayne The Rock Johnson was a distant relative of King Charles, you know? <laughs> so like, you just suddenly start seeing him differently. Well, what I love about this, though, it's like, really, this is like a family-run place mm. named after Willie May, the founder. It's a family recipe. This has become an institution in New Orleans. Mm. And the chicken's just made the same way now as it has been for generations, and it's just absolutely incredible. The thing is, it must be hard to do it this well, right? Mm. <laughs> and yet, you don't think of fried chicken as something that would require like exquisite technique. It's, it's not. A, it's not a freaking souffle, is it? But the sheer amount of kind of bad fried chicken shows how hard it must be. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. I'm going to try this mac and cheese. The ratio of cheese to cheese. mac. It's high. Yeah. It's high. Very high. It's high. I kind of wish it had a crispy top. Yeah. But let's see. Who are we to criticize? <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. That is so cheesy. That is like, Whoa. do you want a bit of mac with your cheese? <laughs> because of that. It's extremely cheesy. It's more like cheese and mac. Yeah, exactly. Poor Mac's been cheese relegated to second place. Massively. Is this just cabbage? Oh I don't think I'm the biggest fan of that, will I? I don't know no. what's going on there, but that is unlike any cabbage I've ever had. I, mean, I guess it's just flavour. Like, well, that's actually cabbage with flavour. <laughs> we don't really have that. That's amazing. I thought cabbage was supposed to be flavourless. Like, that is so much flavour. Like, you could you could have that between two pieces of bread and it'd be a lovely sandwich. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know? No, it's a bit overwhelming for me. I know. <clears throat> like, Cool it, cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Calm, down. <laughs> calm down, cabbage, calm down. I want a candy jam. Like oh, my gosh, I just got a whiff of that. Oh, my gosh. Like a little bit different, because I'm talking about a bit of cornflour. Uh -huh. We had our Sunday roast yes. at the pub, and we absolutely loved it, and it was gorgeous. But we had a cauliflower on there, which, again, is not an issue in the UK, and it it's just fine. It just really sad. But it was like, we had gravy everywhere, and we just had a cauliflower, at least you just had cauliflower on the thing. It didn't even have any gravy on it, did it? No. Just a white piece of cauliflower, no seasoning, no anything. We, we enjoyed it, we still ate it, no issues one bit. But like when he was saying about a cabbage, mm. we would just have a cabbage. Yeah. And it would just be cabbage with a bit of season. I wonder what it tastes like. Mm, Do you know what I mean? That's just the difference, cabbage. I guess. It's like living pancakes. That's yummy, yummy. Oh my gosh. It's like living pancakes. Yeah, we still don't know. I know. <laughs> like, cool it, cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Calm yeah. down, calm down, cabbage, calm down. I want a candied yam. Oh my gosh, have you got a whiff of that? Oh my gosh. It's like living pancakes. That's yum, it's yum. Mm. Oh my gosh. Everything here is so overwhelming. Like, there's just so much flavor in everything. I love that. Gosh. I love the texture of that. I do it's like so that, sweet. but like the cabbage, I mean, I couldn't come even close to mm. finishing that. And that's not a large portion. Red beans and rice. Now this, in Asia, you have it like a sweet. It's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's like vaguely reminiscent of like refried beans. Mm -hmm. okay. The star of the show, though, is the chicken. Wow, like such a long yeah. way. I saw the I must have been love this. The most important question: Where does this fit in the pantheon of fried chicken that we've had over the years? That's tough. It is. It is very, very different. Oh. And here are those mm. beautiful tenders. Oh wow. You can see Look at that. Are. Oh, amazing. Those, right here. Uh, not what I had in mind when I thought of tenders. Oh. Cheers, mate. I thought of little thin, small ones. Yeah. Crispy vegetable oil, mm. like golden as well. Holy moly. Wow, again, it's unbelievably juicy. It's almost overwhelming. What the heck? You know what I want to do? I want to dip it in the mash. Mash oh. up. Ma oh. Mash up. Yeah, you definitely mash do that. gravy. Get in. Let's go. Uh-huh. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
That's like a warm hug on my tongue. That's not how your cardiovascular oh. system describe it. Okay. <laughs> More like a chokehold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You thought it was a hug, but then yeah. you start kind of feeling a bit dizzy. Oh. And it's funny because there's so much yeah. flavour yeah, going on, Josh. Already. If you add, if you add on top. It's like there's not enough room in my mouth for the yeah. flavour. I feel like my mm. fragile British taste buds are, like, overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Oh, well, this has been supposedly the best fried chicken in America. Uh, De facto best fried chicken in the world. <laughs> I still resist what? awarding a singular medal. I don't, I don't think there can be a single best chicken in the world. Obviously, you can't rate it against everything in the world. You haven't tried that much. That's How is this prepared to <laughs> chickens you've tried. Well, it's probably the best I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> so then it could be the best in the world. Of course, be. but we knew that before we walked yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually do think this is the best fried chicken I've ever tried. Wow. It's, it's, That's a big statement. Wow, it's big. It's incredibly That's good. Big. Willie May just absolutely freaking smashed it. Come and try it. It lived up totally to worth its it. extraordinary reputation. Yeah. But in the meantime, we'll see you jolly soon. See you later, guys. Wow. That was good. That was good. I need chicken. I need, we need, chicken. I, I need to look into Willie Mays where we're going. I need food now. Oh, yeah. We need food I now. need that chicken now. Smash that button into your account. Smash subscribe. And we're going to go and get uh, probably some salad or bacon. That's I probably all, bacon. That's all we've got in. What? I think it's always salad. Yeah. Oh, it's bacon. Smash that button, guys. Smash subscribe. Watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And see you later. Until the next one. Peace.